Hello, Tim Barnes, Marion County's Extension Ag Educator. Today we're going to talk a little about uh, lamb creeps, uh, their design, and how that'll help you uh, produce a bigger, healthier lamb. Uh, location is always uh, the first decision. Some of that depends on how big your flock is. You may have small groups uh, of ewes, five or so with their lambs as you group them by age, and then some producers may have as many as 25 or 30 ewes in a group. Uh, so you're going to size your creep accordingly. You can put it up uh, in the corner of the pen, uh, up along the barn sides. Uh, some people are using these uh, self-enclosed creeps that uh, work good in the center of the pen. Make sure it's easy for you to get to to add feed and uh, just put water and hay in. Natural lighting's great during the day, uh, but at night you probably do want a low wattage light bulb to uh, help the lambs. It might draw them in there a little bit so they start uh, eating a, a little quicker. Uh, but this self-contained unit I, I talked about, if you're not familiar with those, the creeps at the back, uh, the areas there uh, where the lambs can get in and rest a little, and then the nice gate that you can adjust the size uh, coming in and out. If you're on a 60-day weeding program, uh, you know, you think on down the road at 60 days, some of these lambs will be in the 60, 70 pound range. So kind of want to keep that in mind when you consider the, the footage, square footage you're going to allow for those heavier weights. Make sure you have your creeps set up when the lambs are 7 to 10 days old. Uh, I, th I think that gets them in there, gets them started nibbling around on the feed a little bit. Uh, but it's, uh, it's great to get them off to a good start. Ventilation is key, especially if you normally have a little more manure pack as we get later in the spring. Remember the, the ammonia smell, you know, can be detrimental to these uh, lambs at the younger ages. Uh, but again, your design fits your situation the best and uh, go with it. Uh, feeders can be as simple as uh, these kind of the, the cups off of the old elevator just attached to the side of the, the pen. Uh, small trough feeders work great. You can clean those out as the lambs get bigger. And if you have a bigger group, uh, we use for several years the old rotary uh, hog uh, feeders and uh, hay attached to the side here or you can have the ones that hang on the gate a little bit of hay yeah their digestive system isn't going to allow it to use it till they get closer to 30 days of age but it's great to have it in there gives them something to nibble on remember water consumption isn't going to be great until the lambs get a little older because they're getting a lot of uh, water out of the milk of their mother but keep them uh, clean water in there to get them started uh, the entrance, any number of ways to do in this. I think we're seeing more and more of these adjustable feeders where the metal rod can go down through PVC or through metal piping. They give a roller action as the lambs go in and out. Uh, keep it narrower for the younger lambs, and then you can spread it out as these bigger lambs get bigger, closer to weaning. Uh, guys that are selling a lot of lambs, especially club lambs, may have a gate in there where they can pin the lambs in for a while each day. Uh, get them used to that, then they're easier to get in and out of there. As you Good adjustment of the creek gate just makes it easy for those big lambs uh, that, to come in and out. Uh, again, you may have to make the adjustment uh, a, a little wider, especially those big singles. But uh, you want them to eat. Uh, we all have the problem, you, that skinny one that has twins probably on her that can somehow get in the creep. Here's a quick remedy for that. You can see just three short pieces of wood uh, screwed together. Put that around her neck. She can drink, she can eat hay, and she can eat grain, but she can't get in your creep to uh, eat all the creep feed. In summary, uh, creeps are just a great management tool. We have fabulous genetics nowadays. If you want to get the fastest rate of gain, get the lambs to market the quickest, uh, use your creep. A big uh, thank you to Beck's Club Lambs, Chriswell Club Lambs, Bryant Shropshire's, and Jet Tunis for helping me out with this video. If you have further questions, feel free to email me at barnes.821 at osu.edu.